to the channel today. You guys are going to be kind of upset with me. I bought a CZ P10C over a year ago and I have yet to shoot it. This is known as the Glock Killer. I've never fired it. Don't ask me how. I didn't forget about it, but um, COVID hit and I, I don't shoot, I basically shoot nine millimeter now just when I'm filming and that's about it. So I'm just gonna do a quick video today. This isn't gonna be like a full blown review with statistics and all that because that's, that's out there. Um, I have a bone stock Glock 19 here, <clears throat> Gen 3. Gen 3 is my favorite Glock 19. And I just want to do a general comparison for myself. Glock 19 is, is my gun of guns. If I had to keep one gun, you know, and we're not talking sentimental, especially if we're talking uh, you got to go to war, I'm taking my 19. But once I shoot this today, and it's referred to as the Glock killer, am I going to change my mind? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put about 50 rounds through this gun, so not a huge amount, maybe 75. And I'll just give you my opinion and my thoughts on it and talk about the two guns, and we'll do a quick little uh, video, and we'll see what happens. So I hope you stay tuned. So we're going to get right into the CZ P10C. I mean, it feels good. It feels very much like a Glock. I know that they say that it fits in a Glock holster. I forgot to bring mine. Um, the trigger feels better uh, dry firing, you know, so far than a Glock. The reset's real short. So let's put some rounds in. I will note that when I bought this gun, they only had the 10 round magazine version available. They did not have the 15. So I have 10 rounds loaded in each and I still have to buy some 15 round magazines for this gun. But this is gonna be the very first mag. So let's go ahead and put it in and see what we think. <clears throat> First impression, man, it feels good. <laughs> it feels just like a Glock to me. Uh, obviously the grip is different. It's got pretty aggressive stippling on it. Um, the trigger is quite a bit better. This is a bone stock Gen 3 other than the sights, they're Ameriglo. So bone stock, you know, Glock triggers are I don't have a problem with them, but you know, they're not the greatest trigger out there. Um, but man, this thing feels pretty awesome. So let's, uh, let's throw a mag in. Oh, it threw me off. Sorry. That's a 17 round mag. And when it didn't get it, go in all the way, it kind of threw me off. All right. Glock 19 gen three. These are not the first rounds through this gun. Man, it's crazy. If I had to base it off of just just those two uh, mags, one in each gun, I, I man, I honestly think I might go for the CZ. 
based off of just those two mags. The, the problem with the Glock, not the problem, but because they're so reliable and I've put so many rounds through uh, a Glock 19, it's going to be very hard for me to to veer off that and put my life on the line, you know, with this gun. So, but I like the way this one feels and shoots so far one mag better. Um, obviously, I'll have to get a lot more rounds through this before I will trust it 100%. But let's, now don't laugh at me. My grouping kind of sucks, so um, I'm probably about seven yards away. So the top target, the top target was the CZ and the bottom target was the 19. All right, let's run another mag in each. CZ is first. The mag drops pretty freely, but the button is a little it's a little pointy and it kind of sticks in my finger, so I definitely don't like the mag release as much as the Glock 19. Now whether they have an aftermarket one I can buy, I'll have to look into that. Glock 19. I always have a hard time hitting the mag release anyways though, um, with my thumb anyways. So I kept the same targets, CZ up top here. I started uh, grouping a little bit better, uh, that second mag, 19 on the bottom, not sure what's going on there. That particular 19 uh, is a relatively new, I haven't put a lot of rounds through it. I had another Gen 3 that I've put thousands upon thousands of rounds through. All right, let's go again. We'll start with the CZ. I'll go for the target on the left. Definitely shooting a little left. That may just be me. Glock 19. Must be me. I got this one going left too. Zoom in, show you how we did. CZ on the left. Yeah, I'll take it. It's definitely a little tighter than the Glock. Like I said, I, I'm always good at hitting the target in the kill zone, but I've never been a good grouper, so. Um, yeah, I, um, I definitely I definitely like the gun, for sure. Is it the Glock killer? I don't know. 
I mean, when you get to the point where you have as many rounds through something like this as you do a Glock, you know, if you're a Glock guy, then, and, and you build up that confidence that you have in Glock, then maybe you can call it a second option to a Glock. But I don't think anything will ever be a Glock killer, in my opinion. And I, and I used to not be a Glock guy. I, the reason why I'm going all Glock on you is reliability, you know? I mean, it, it just comes down to Glocks are just amazing when it comes to reliability. And uh, that's, that's what counts. We're still the same distance. Now we'll try a rapid fire and see how many I could actually get on these targets. Starting with the CZ again. 10 rounds each. Kind of hesitated a little bit, that was me. Now the Glock. Kind of screwed that one up with the hesitation of the CZ. So I don't think the results are as good because of that. Four, yeah, four out of 10. And then the Glock is four, six, seven, one up here, so seven out of 10. I truly think I screwed that up though. I guess now I'll try a double tap, drop the mag, put in a new mag, double tap, clear the gun, set it down with each one. Final thoughts, might as well bring the Glock back up here. The slide serrations are very aggressive. They are definitely aggressive, making my hands a little bit raw. So, but I think that'll be a good thing as time goes on. So I definitely like that it's got the front slide serrations, you know, for anybody who's a press checker, I'm not, but it's, uh, that's nice. You know, this particular Glock Gen 3 only has the rear, so you got front and rear. I like that better about the CZ. I like the trigger better on the CZ. I mean, it is just right there i mean out of the box this this is a really nice trigger so i award the cz on slide serrations trigger the glock is a little bit more comfortable in my hand i like the uh finger grooves i know that there's a lot of people that don't take them off i actually like them but i think it depends on the size of your hand it fits my hand good so this does feel a little more comfortable in the hand um, but this this is kind of blocky and chunky which you know Glocks have been accused of this does feel more streamlined um, you know both of them have your Picatinny rail I appreciate you watching as usual and I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one at the end of the day though 
I would take either weapon to, to defend my life, but as of now, I'm still a Glock 19 guy, but I really was impressed with my first mags through this gun. I'm gonna continue to fire it. This is definitely gonna be a keeper. And once I get, you know, a couple thousand rounds through it, I'll update you. It'll be a while with the whole ammo situation. And I could very well see this becoming a main gun for me or a secondary. Um, could it possibly take the place of the 19 someday? I think it has the potential of doing that. Um, I think that you got to get enough rounds in it and be and trust it like you do a Glock. You know, I just have a lot of rounds through Glock 19, so. But I do think it has the potential of being side by side with the Glock. I don't think it will ever be the Glock killer, as they stated, but it's right there with it i think so far we'll update down the road thanks for watching guys